Hello, it's Nick, and um, now we're playing Horace and the Spiders, presented by Siam Computers and Melbourne House. If you suffer from fits, best to look away in a few moments. There's a bit of a flashing screen. Uh, written by uh, William Tang. It says Horace and the Spider there, but it's definitely Horace and the Spiders. Um, you know when you go and write a word in big capital and run out of room? I think that's what happened there. Um, right, so it's a sort of a, a platformy game, divided into three sections. Uh, first section, which I've just died straight away, uh, you're up in the mountains, you've got to jump over a uh, spider for a set amount of time. I'll go back here, yeah. Second section, uh, we've got to go across this chasm by jumping across uh, various vines lowered by spiders. Not sure if this is based on a true story or not. Oh, come on, Horace. Having a bit of trouble getting on there. Oh, come on. Donut overanalyzes too much, but Horace, it might have been better if you got a gun and walked across that bridge at the top there and just shot all four of them. Yes, but um, everyone hates spiders, so they're the enemy in this game. Um, I'm trying to think of what they've done wrong where Horace is so against them. Something's happened. They've eaten his birthday cake or something. Um, almost there. Right. I sit down and I'm back. And this is the main part of the game, really. You've got this big spider's web. Uh, there's three spiders at the moment on this level. And basically you've got to kill them all. And you do that by um, stamping uh, through uh, various bits of the web, like I'm doing here. And they come and fix it. Once they do that, I stamp on them. But if they get me, then obviously I'm dead. See on the top right it says Serum 4, that's lives. And the further you progress through this game, the more spiders there are on the web. It goes up to a maximum of 8, and that's when it gets uh, really crazy. Fine figure of a man, that Horace. But this is the third instalment from the Horace series. Before there was Hungry Horace, and um, Horace goes skiing. Bit of a frogger clone, the skiing one. And this is Horace and the Spiders, and this is my favourite of the three. Right, I'm doing a bit of damage to this. I mean, just to say, in these Spectrum games, they find some odd subjects. It's not like big licensing. Um, I don't know what these spiders have done to deserve Horace coming in and just destroying what essentially is their home. Right, one's going to fix it. I could probably get him. As long as his mate don't come across. Oh, there we go. Lost a life. Right, there's a spider down the bottom right here, but I can't actually get to him, so I don't know how he got there. But you should try and mend that next one. Right, now this is when we kill him. All fairs and love and war in computer games. So just two left. Those two red spiders at the top are none the wider. But um, with this game, it's so easy to um, stamp on the wrong bits of web and cut yourself off so you can't get to the top. And then you depend on the spiders to fix it, which could take ages. Right, let's do some damage a bit higher up so they're actually going to get it. I'm not sure they're sensing maybe where I am. Come on, Horace. I'm sure he's got better things to do. Right, I don't think I'm getting to that spider because his mate's in the way. Yeah, run out of time. Let's just do one here. Sometimes you can track the spiders if you just do a little bit of damage and don't stamp all the way through, I find. I found. Right. This will be a good one to get. Right, they must come down and fix that. Hopefully one at a time. Good, right. Doing a bit of damage. Should be able to get him. Boom. Let's go all the way through. Hopefully his mate comes down and goes and fix the same one. Wait, patience is a virtue. Do sat at the top, he'll run into that. Come on, yeah, got him. That's it. Once he's dead, we're back to the first bit. We have to go a, a bit further now. Okay. Right. Uh, the mountain's slightly higher up, so the vines are, um, will be wheeled up a bit quicker. Come on, Horace. It's getting across a bit easier this time. 
Horace must be quite bored. Surely there's something better to do than just stamping on spiders and risking life and limb. Right. Now, this time round, there's four spiders. Look at that remarkable that it's all done on just 48k on the spectrum. Absolutely unbelievable. Yes, now, because when there's more spiders, they get a bit bolder. Oops! One serum less, watch out. Very poisonous, these spiders. Oh, that's a bonus. It's an easy kill because his friends are nowhere near. Right, yeah, down to just the bare free again. I do believe that there's supposed to be um, a fourth instalment to this, uh, but the, the writer uh, was ill, apparently, so it never happened. But subsequently, I think there's been a few homebrews. When I say by homebrews, I mean um, people that picked up the Spectrum later, say in the last few years. So you can't buy a Spectrum anymore, brand new. And uh, there might be a sequel there. Horace in Paradise, from uh, memory, might be one. Okay, two spiders left. Yeah, out of the three sections, this is by far my favourite one. Wish I had this on my phone to play on the bus. Right, come on, Horace. That's quite handy, really, having a ladder all the way almost up to the top. It makes it impossible to cut yourself off, practically. Oops, that was a close one. Good animation on the spiders. Horse has gone green in this section. It's never explained. Blue all the way along, and suddenly goes green. Maybe spiders can't see green. Right, can I get to that spider up there without being killed by the other one? Yes, I think. Stamp, 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 stamp. Right, one left. And he's gone in the same place. Good, that's a bonus. Fabulous. I think it gives us, yeah, gives us the web again. So five of them now. A lot of things moving on screen at the same time. Whoops. Yeah, see? They're protecting each other. This is getting a bit complicated. Stay out of trouble, Horace. Shouldn't have come here in the first place. Should have gone skiing instead. He's got an active life, Horace. Eating stuff, skiing, stamping on spiders. I'm sure karma's going to get him in the end. Right, there's his first kill. Three serum left. Right, four of them. I think each time I kill one of these spiders, the Spectrum's secretly happy. Its struggling CPU is um, having a bit of bother controlling all of them. But it hasn't crashed. Oh, not yet, anyway. We'll go to eight spiders, I think it might do. Right, down to three. Good, good, good. Might be able to get that one up there as well. Brilliant. Another spider dies. I hope these aren't endangered, these spiders. Don't want Greenpeace after me. With RSPCA. Horace wanted. Must be a fine for this. Horace gets fined. That'll be a, maybe another instalment. Horace and the endangered spiders. Because now, there is only just one of them. Just one left. And a big, big web. Right. I think one's pretty, uh, fairly easy to cope with. He's coming down. He's made it really easy for me. Blam. Right, definitely back to the beginning again now. Got a lot of stuff to jump over in the mountains. Boop, boop, boop. I think those mountains are random each time, so they're not the same shape. I'm, I'm, I'm never very good at this section. Oops! Well, that was bad timing. Curses. You see, you've got lots... Each time around, you've got slightly less um, room to work with. Okay. Yeah, that spider's not helping. Hmm... Not 
overly confident about this now. <laughs> but at least, at least you've seen all the sections. These haven't... Oh good, good running, running. At least you've seen all the sections. They haven't just died on the first one. Spiders, eh? If you ever saw Horace, you'd definitely know it was him. Bulbous character. So that's Horace and the Spiders! By Beam Software, so they're written by William Cass. And goodbye! GOODBYE!